The Unusual Beginning Picture this, Germany, 1959. A 24-year-old rock and roll sensation meets a 14-year-old girl, and thus begins the extraordinary love story of Elvis and Priscilla Presley. In the heart of Germany, under the most unusual circumstances, their paths crossed. Elvis, the king of rock and roll, was immediately captivated by the young Priscilla. There was something about her that struck a chord within him, a familiarity that was both intriguing and comforting. In her, he saw a resemblance to his dearly departed mother, a woman who held a special place in his heart. Their connection was immediate, their chemistry undeniable. But, given Priscilla's tender age, the blossoming romance was kept under wraps. Their interactions were private, away from the scrutinizing eyes of the public. And so, their covert love story began. Elvis was drawn to Priscilla like a moth to a flame. He was keen on seeing her again and on her second visit they shared their first kiss, a moment that sealed their extraordinary bond. Little did they know, this meeting was the start of a roller coaster love story that would captivate the world. Their romance was unlike any other, kept under wraps due to Priscilla's tender age. An innocent 14-year-old girl, Priscilla was swept off her feet by the charm and charisma of Elvis, who was 10 years her senior. Their relationship was a secret garden, hidden from the prying eyes of the public. The world knew Elvis as the king of rock and roll, but for Priscilla, he was simply her Elvis. While Elvis served his time in Germany, Priscilla's devotion to him never wavered. She was his constant companion, his confidant, his anchor in a world that was always rushing by at a dizzying speed. Their bond was more than just a fleeting teenage crush. It was a deep emotional connection that transcended the boundaries of their age difference. When Elvis's time in Germany came to an end, he couldn't bear the thought of leaving Priscilla behind. So he did what any man in love would do. He called her and asked her to visit him in Los Angeles. And Priscilla, so captivated by Elvis, agreed without a second thought. But life in Los Angeles was a world away from the quiet, sheltered existence Priscilla had known in Germany. To keep up with the fast-paced lifestyle of the king, she began taking amphetamines and sleeping pills. It was a steep price to pay, but to Priscilla, being with Elvis was worth any sacrifice. Elvis too was willing to make sacrifices for Priscilla. He wanted her to be comfortable and feel at home in his world. He took it upon himself to mold her into his ideal woman, making changes to her appearance down to her hair and makeup. Their secret romance continued to blossom, leading Priscilla to make a life-altering decision. She moved to Memphis to finish high school and live with Elvis. It was a bold step for a young girl, but love knows no boundaries, and Priscilla was ready to cross them all for Elvis. Priscilla, so young and in love, would soon find herself living with Elvis in Memphis. In Memphis, Priscilla's life was about to change beyond recognition. With a love as deep as the Mississippi River that flows through this city, she embraced the new chapter of her life, but not without significant transformations. Elvis, smitten by her youthful charm, had a particular image of an ideal woman in mind, and he believed he could shape Priscilla into that. He was not just the king of rock and roll but also the architect of Priscilla's new persona. As time passed, Elvis began to make changes to Priscilla's appearance. He adjusted her hair and makeup to meet his preferences, even changing her hair color and clothing style. Priscilla devoted and in love, obliged to these alterations, stepping into the shoes of the woman Elvis envisioned. But this wasn't just a physical transformation, it was a metamorphosis of a young girl into a woman, under the watchful eyes of her beloved. Their relationship, though deeply intimate, remained sexless. They shared moments of closeness but they saved the ultimate intimacy for their wedding night. Yet, this didn't stop the rumor mills. Their unique bond was under constant public scrutiny, and the press was relentless. The whispers grew louder and the eyes of the world were on them expecting a ring, a promise, a commitment. And then, amidst the turbulent waves of public pressure and expectation, Elvis proposed. It was a moment that marked a new beginning, a moment that promised a journey together. It was a testament to their love, their bond, and their willingness to face the world as a united front. They were ready to step into a new chapter, to embrace a new life together, and to tie the knot. Under immense pressure and public scrutiny, Elvis and Priscilla were soon to tie the knot. Their love story was about to take a turn, a twist that would change their lives forever. A wedding was on the horizon, and with it, the promise of a new life, a life together, a life as Mr. and Mrs. Presley. 1967 brought a whirlwind of change for the couple as they became husband and wife, and then parents. In that year, amidst public scrutiny and intense pressure, Elvis Presley and Priscilla Beaulieu tied the knot. 
It was a grand affair, an event that captured the hearts of many and the headlines of the era. But beneath the glitz and glamour, a different narrative unfolded. Theirs was not a conventional marriage. Their wedding night marked their first intimate encounter. And not long after, Priscilla found herself expecting. The couple was overjoyed but uncertainties loomed. Elvis, the king of rock and roll, was suddenly confronted with the prospect of fatherhood. Elvis had always been a man of the stage, his life punctuated by applause and adoration. The idea of being a father, of trading in the spotlight for the soft glow of a nursery light was daunting. He was unsure how this new role would affect his career, his identity. There were reservations, and he even suggested a trial separation when Priscilla was seven months pregnant. But love prevailed. They reconciled, and in 1968, they welcomed their daughter, Lisa Marie, into the world. It was a joyous time, but also a challenging one. The dynamics of their relationship shifted. Elvis, who once found Priscilla captivating, became distant after she gave birth. He was reluctant to be intimate, and his eyes wandered elsewhere, leading him to the beds of other women. This infidelity, coupled with their changing relationship dynamics, strained their marriage. Priscilla, once the young girl who was molded into Elvis's ideal woman, was now a mother and a wife seeking more control over her own life. The couple, who once shared secret kisses and dreams, found their bond fracturing under the weight of reality. As the years passed, their fairy tale love story began to crumble. Their marriage, once a symbol of their undying love, became a battleground of unmet expectations and broken promises. But despite the downfall, Priscilla held on to the fond memories of Elvis, the man who had once been her everything. By 1973, the strain on Elvis and Priscilla's relationship had reached its breaking point. The couple who had spent over a decade weaving an intricate tapestry of love, struggle and transformation, found themselves at a crossroads. The pressures of fame, the trials of parenthood, and the relentless pursuit of individuality had taken their toll on the relationship. The once vibrant melody of their love story had faded into a somber requiem. The unraveling began subtly, Elvis grappling with the demands of fatherhood and a career that showed no signs of slowing down, sought solace in the arms of other women. Priscilla on the other hand, yearned for a sense of self that extended beyond the shadow of her husband's stardom. The strain of these divergent paths led to a trial separation when Priscilla was seven months pregnant. Despite a short reconciliation following the birth of their daughter, the cracks in their relationship had grown too deep to repair. In the autumn of 1973, they officially divorced. The end of their marriage marked the end of an era, a period that had been defined by their passionate yet complex love story. Yet, even in the midst of heartbreak, Priscilla held on to the tender memories of Elvis. She cherished the moments of laughter, the shared dreams, and the love that had once blossomed so brightly. Despite the tumult of their relationship, Priscilla would later write a memoir, Elvis and Me, reflecting on their journey with a sense of fondness. For her, the Elvis she knew was not just the king of rock and roll, but also a man with whom she had shared a significant part of her life. Their love story, as tumultuous and unconventional as it was, remains an unforgettable part of music history. It is a testament to the enduring power of love, even in the face of adversity and a reminder that every love story has its unique rhythm and melody.